Welcome to Engineering Entropy. My name is Lee. Uh, today, I want to do a video on a flint and steel sparker. Uh, but this just does not have the carbon content that it needs to be a uh, flint and steel striker, or just, you know, the steel striker. So today, I thought what we would try to do is say, if you only had this, and you only had, you know, things that you could work with around you, is there a way you could make a steel striker? So, we've got something planned, and we're going to go and uh, give it a try. But uh, they go all the way back, and uh, they just kind of dumped out a whole bunch of coal right here. We're not really going that far in. The coal's on a hillside right there, so I'll collect some of that. See, that's pretty awesome. All right, so I noticed a couple of things. Uh, it's kind of hard to separate the coal from the rocks. There's a lot of slag mixed in there and uh, rocks and all this coal's wet and there's leaves and all sorts of that. So I mainly just grab the big pieces, but if I come back, I'll have to uh, uh, kind of sift it out some. And then the second thing I noticed is that there were some pieces like this. And I'm not really sure if this is coal or not. You can see it's different from the other kind. It's a lot more porous, it's kind of light, and it's also sparkly. So I'm not really sure about that, but uh, I'll have to just uh, burn it and we'll see how it goes. Now I'm just in the process of breaking these big pieces up into smaller pieces. Uh, it's probably a better tool for this, but this is working out all right, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna smash up this charcoal into a uh, fine dust. We just take it, place it inside, wrap it up. Now we're gonna cover this in clay. All right, so you can see here we got it all covered in clay. And this is just uh, regular mud. And I started the fire and it started smoking a lot. You need to make sure that you have plenty of air in there when you're lighting it. So that way there's not as much smoke. You can see towards the end it actually started to get really hot. Uh, so judging by this chart, the fire got around 1400 Kelvin. Here you'll see the equation that defines the diffusion of carbon into uh, gamma steel. Um, from that equation you'll see the different variables listed here and I had a little bit of difficulty determining the units of these variables and then this is the chart with several constants for calculating uh, D not D naught. D naught is given and we'll have to calculate based on the temperature. Alright, we're going to open her up and see. If you use sandstone, it'll blow up in between the layers and scare you to death. That happened to me. Alright, let's see what's inside. Okay. Oh yes. We have something. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this dragon egg. Look at that. That's my favorite part right here. So of the whole experiment, this actually was my favorite part. Uh, you can see that those weird pieces of coal kind of made like a glaze that went over the clay and it just baked everything. It came out looking really cool, which I thought it looked like a dragon egg. But this was my favorite part. It's actually really tough. <laughs> I did not expect that. This was just mud from my yard. Uh, all right. Oh, yes. Here she is. You can see it's a paper towel. There's that. Look to close up. Still embedded in the clay. Okay, 
so the tip of this was stuck in the clay so it didn't get carburized but um, hopefully the rest of this now has a higher carbon content but we'll have to temper it and then we can see and then whatever and uh, so now we're gonna quench it to give it its temper and I gotta hurry with this all right basically you just get this and you can see it does not work.